So we have been using these files. So we have been including Vue.js. So instead of doing this again and again, we'll create a template where we'll include the Vue.js script, where we'll include even bootstrap so that we can style our pages uh, easily. And then we'll use it for the future uh, work. Okay, so let me take this, make a copy and call it template. And then we might be using view two or we might be using view three. So based on what I'd like to demonstrate, one of them I'd use. So let's also take the script to script include for view three, this one. I'll include both. And whenever we want, I'd like to show something, I'll switch between the two to see that the APIs are same or switch and then change what we do according to the other API. So maybe create with view two and then switch over to view three and illustrate the changes. Also the data part, I'll leave it as an empty object right now. Whenever, whatever we want to add, we'll add here. And the template part, again, we'll just have a div. and add uh, the view div, right? So we change this part. Okay, and we found the app. So just test that this is working fine. Let me open this. If something has gone wrong, let's check the console. View is not a constructor, okay. So the thing is I've included view two and then view three. So the global variable created here has been overwritten by this. So view three, we know that is actually mount uh, and not dollar mount and you need to say view dot create app. So let me comment this out. When we want three, we will uncomment it. This should work. Yeah, add the view here. So that's the old error, yeah, no errors. So we keep this template and use it for the future. Also, one more thing we'll do is we will include Bootstrap so that we can style things easily and well. And go to CD and JS. Search for Bootstrap. Basically, Twitter, Bootstrap, both are same. You can see the versions are the same. Let me copy this. Bootstrap min CSS. Include it in a link tag that's for CSS. All right, and uh, yeah, let's use it. So I'll apply one of the Bootstrap classes here. You'll actually see a change in the font. The font will be what Bootstrap provides. So if you refresh, you'll change. A, you'll see a visible change actually. Yeah, you can see the font has changed. Just to see it more clearly, I'll add class container. That gives left and right margins. It's a CSS class from Bootstrap that gives left and right margins. And you can clearly see there's a margin to the left. There's also one to the right, but it's not so obvious. So, so we'll, we'll be using this template going forward. 